Hey guys, a Need for Speed Part 3 test. And we are playing Need for Speed Carport, which is the last game which was based on Fast and Furious movies. And just like in the most wanted, we are starting the game driving a BMW M3. And very quickly we're gonna lose the car. Again. But this time for good. So we have to pick one of the cars in the shop and start everything all over again. In this part, just like the most one that you're gonna have uh, police chases, but they also add some new features. But I don't like them, so I will not talk about them. But enough said about the game, let's go to the settings. And I own this game in Polish, so I will not show the settings, I'm just gonna talk about it and we are playing in the same resolution like it was in the Need for Speed Most Wanted, which is 1200 something. And then the details, okay, that's a tricky part. Um, those two Need for Speed before was playing on high details. Now, first videos I was recording on high details, but I was, I was so sure that this game gonna run smoothly on high details also, but it's not. So. Then I went to medium details and still the game was lagging and well it's possible to play but from time to time you will lose the FPS and I don't like that. I keep the rule that to run the game smoothly I have to have a range of 30 FPS. Never go less than 30 FPS because then lags coming and sometimes when you can mess something up just because of some tiny lag. So. It's a good rule and you should follow it. So what I did, I just put on low details and then I got the range like 35 FPS and they, well, maybe they went sometimes over the 30 FPS but max to 28 so I didn't feel so much lax. And now I will show you some gameplay I record on my camera and play some music, I know how you like these moments. So enjoy the music and I will see you in the next movies. Yes, fly with me, yes, fly with me 